Hi friends, teacher Stefan here. Today let's work on main ideas and key details. The writer may state the main idea in a sentence. This sentence can appear at the beginning, middle, or end of a paragraph or passage. Sometimes the main idea is not directly stated, but rather implied. The reader must then figure out by thinking about the details. Don't worry, I'll help. Let's practice reading passages, finding their topic sentences, and then figuring out the main ideas, key details, and even the title. Number one, Mount Rushmore, carving, cliff, president, site. Mount Rushmore is a huge carving in a stone cliff. The carving shows the faces of four US presidents. They are George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. Mount Rushmore is in South Dakota. Each year, many people visit this amazing site. Okay, the main idea of the paragraph is what Mount Rushmore is, where Mount Rushmore is, the names of the presidents. To help, I've highlighted the topic sentence in purple. In this case, it is the first sentence. Mount Rushmore is a huge carving in a stone cliff. This answers A, what Mount Rushmore is. But if you continue reading the paragraph, it gives you even more details and information about what Mount Rushmore is, including where it is, South Dakota, and the four names of the US presidents. B and C are just details. A is the main idea. Okay, a detail that tells about the main idea is how the four presidents were chosen, which presidents are at Mount Rushmore, why Mount Rushmore is in South Dakota. There are lots of key words here, but only one of these answers is correct. Only one of these answers is stated in the paragraph. It's B. We find out the four names of the presidents. We don't find out how they were chosen, and we don't find out why it's in South Dakota. The best title for this paragraph would be The Face of Washington, Visiting South Dakota, or Mount Rushmore Carvings. Which title includes information from the topic sentence? Which answer, in your opinion, is best? It has to be C. How can you have a paragraph about what Mount Rushmore is without using Mount Rushmore in the title? Okay, let's move to two. Crow, robber, especially, bold, cackle, sneaky, snatch. Crows are the robbers of the bird world. Crows especially like to steal food from other birds. Sometimes they are very bold about taking things. They might chase another bird, cackle at it, or even bump into it. At other times, crows are sneaky. They get close and then snatch food away when another bird isn't looking. The main idea of the paragraph is why crows like to take food, the kind of food that crows eat, how crows act like these. Be careful of the word why in A, the word kind in B. Look at the topic sentence in purple. Crows are the robbers, which means thieves, of the bird world. Now look at C, how crows act like thieves. If you need to, pause the video and read the paragraph again. It talks about all the ways in which crows act like thieves. 
C is our main idea. A detail that tells about the main idea is how crows can be sneaky, how other birds fight crows, where crows make their nests. Read the paragraph if you need. Only one of these details is answered in the paragraph. It's A, how crows can be sneaky by stealing from other birds. What do you think is the best title? A bump from a crow? Bandit birds. Bandit is another word for thief or robber. Or what crows eat? There is only one good answer here. Bandit birds. Because of the topic sentence and the main idea. How crows act like bandits, thieves, or robbers. Three. Gentlemen. Wedding. Be dressed up. Turn up. Bottom. Fashion. Cuff. The year was 1850. The place was New York City. A gentleman was on his way to a wedding. He was all dressed up. However, it had just rained and the streets were muddy. The man turned up the bottom of his pants to keep them clean. At the wedding, he forgot to turn them down. This is how the fashion for cuff on pants got started. Isn't that interesting? Main idea, what New York was like in 1850? That's very general. The story behind cuffs on pants, that's very specific. How to keep pants clean in the mud. That was the reason why he turned his bottoms up, but it's not the main idea. Look at the words in purple. That is how the fashion the cuffs on pants got started. This is a story about cuffs on pants and the history behind the first man that ever did it. What detail is in the story that talks about the main idea? Why the man turned up his pants? Who was getting married that day? What people said about the weather? The answer is A. We know the man turned up his pants because he was going to a wedding and didn't want his pants to get dirty from the rain. What is your opinion for best title? A rainy day in New York? Very general. Keeping your clothes clean? Specific but unrelated. How cuffs turned up? That's funny and related to the story. C is our best answer. Four. Take, fuel truck, fill, fuel tank, baggage, deliver, cargo, repair. It takes a lot of trucks to get an airplane ready to fly. Fuel trucks are very important. They fill the fuel tanks of planes. Baggage trucks carry people's suitcases to and from planes. Still other trucks deliver food. You might also see mail trucks and cargo trucks. Also standing by at airports are repair trucks. Airplanes are like trucks. Is this the main idea? Some trucks carry food. Is that really what this paragraph is about? How trucks help planes. Look at the topic sentence. It takes a lot of trucks to get an airplane ready to fly. I see two nouns, trucks and airplanes. There's also verbs as to how they're related. To get an airplane ready to fly. Well, that answers the question from C, how trucks help planes. Which detail is answered in this paragraph? Trucks are more important than planes. Many people carry on their luggage. Airplanes depend on trucks for fuel. A is incorrect because the point of the truck is to help the plane do its work. 
B is really not related to airplanes or trucks. It's related to the passenger. C is our best and only answer. <clears throat> and the title, the role of trucks at airports, repair trucks on the runway, mail trucks and cargo trucks. The answer is A, the role of trucks at airports. B is a nice guess, but it is not as good as A. And C is not very related to this article at all. Five, toast, cereal, konji, miso, lentil bean, matter. Americans like toast, eggs, and cereal. In China, people eat konji, a thick rice. People in Japan often have a soup called miso. Pancakes made from lentil beans are favored in India. Bread and coffee with milk are the most popular breakfast foods in France. Breakfast around the world is a matter of different tastes. What's your favorite breakfast? Mine is lemon water. What is the main idea? People in China and Japan like different foods. Cereal is a popular breakfast food in the United States. People eat different foods for breakfast around the world. A and B, in my opinion, are just details of the paragraph. Look at the words in purple. Breakfast around the world is a matter of different tastes. A and B only talk about three countries but the article ma mentions many more. The best answer here is people eat different foods for breakfast around the world. Which detail did you find? Breakfast is an important meal. Everyone eats eggs at breakfast. People in India eat lentil pancakes. Read the article, pause the video if you need. The article only talks about C. While many people agree or think as their opinion that breakfast is an important or maybe the most important meal of the day, it's not in the article. And it also does not say that everyone eats eggs at breakfast. What is your opinion for the best title? Soup in the morning, breakfast around the world, something to eat. Look at the words in purple. Our title should be B. Six, tunnel, state, almost, distance, mile, depend on. <clears throat> the Holland Tunnel is a roadway under the Hudson River. At one end of the tunnel is New York City. At the other end is the state of New Jersey. Almost 50,000 cars and trucks go through the Holland Tunnel each day. The distance is just over one and a half miles. Depending on the time of day, it can be a long or short trip. The main idea, what the Holland Tunnel is, the length of the Holland Tunnel, what the Hudson River is like. One of these is not mentioned. One of these is a detail. Look at the words in purple and then decide. The Holland Tunnel is a roadway under the Hudson River. That answers A, what the Holland Tunnel is. Which detail is in the paragraph? The places that the tunnel connects, how to get through the tunnel, other ways to cross the Hudson River. This paragraph talks about the places that the tunnel connects. Read it again if you need. And your vote for best title, a long or short trip, riding through a tunnel, Holland Tunnel Facts. It has to be C. If you chose A or B, you wouldn't know what this paragraph is about. A is very vague and general and nonspecific. B is more specific, but it doesn't say which tunnel. Only C, 
is the best answer for title. Seven, name, planet, solar system, <clears throat> mercury, path, speed. Can you name the planets in our solar system? Mercury is one of them. Like the other planets, Mercury moves in a path around the sun. Mercury travels faster than the other planets. It speeds along at about 107,000 miles an hour. Mercury is the planet closest to the sun. Its days are very hot and its nights are very cold. There is no water on planet Mercury. What's the main idea? The lack of water on Mercury? the planets in the solar system, or what the planet Mercury is like. The paragraph begins by talking about the solar system, but every sentence afterward is about what the planet Mercury is like. It doesn't talk about any other planets. Which detail can you find? The speed at which Mercury travels around the sun? the names of the other planets in the solar system, how fast other planets in the solar system travel. <laughs> Careful. A detail that talks about the main idea is A, the speed at which Mercury travels around the sun. B and C aren't in the paragraph, nor are they about the main idea. So that's another clue you can use. The title, Moving Around the Sun, Hot Days and Cold Nights, The Planet Mercury. Well, look at the main idea, Mercury. Which title uses Mercury inside it? Only C, The Planet Mercury. Eight, human, community, control, crowd, herd, cattle, plow, and wagon. Horses are often helpers for humans. In some communities, the police ride horses to control large crowds. Cowboys use horses to help round up herds of cattle. In some countries, farmers still use horses to pull plows or wagons. People also use horses to carry them from place to place. What is the main idea? the different jobs that horses can do, how the police use horses in crowds, the ways that animals in general help people. Read the topic sentence, horses are often helpers for humans. Well, that answers A, the different jobs that horses can do. What details can you find that talk about the main idea? how cowboys use horses in their work, the kinds of horses used in police work, the names of countries using farm horses. A, B, and C all are about the main idea, but only one is found in the paragraph, and that's A. What's the title? Helpful horses, horses in parades, traveling by horse. Let's start with C. Traveling by horse is an example of one way a horse can be helpful. Two, horses in parades. This shows that horses are used for a very specific way of entertaining people, not exactly helpful. And A is perfect. It's called helpful horses, which is exactly what this paragraph is about. I will also teach you another word here. Alliteration. Alliteration is very popular in English. It happens when two words beside each other both have the same first letter, such as helpful horses, two H's. In English, we think this sounds pretty. So titles that use alliteration, such as helpful horses, are really enjoyed by the readers. <clears throat> Nine, view, spring, bay, storm, fall, brook, creek. 
Community names often have words for water in them. For example, Riverview is a town in Kansas. Running Springs is in California. You'll find Bay City in Michigan. Storm Lake is in Iowa. Great Falls is in Montana. And Brookfield is in Vermont. Where is Silver Creek? Why, it's in Mississippi. What's the main idea? Where to find Silver Creek? Names of places with water words, different bodies of water in states. Read the paragraph again if you need. Focus on the words in purple. Community names often have words for water in them. Does that help? It's C. These communities aren't bodies of water. They are different bodies of water in the states. So, two, a detail that tells about the main idea. Is it which state has the most bodies of water? In which state you'll find Bay City? Why water words appear in names? If you read it again, you'll find that only one detail exists in this paragraph. C, why water words appear in names? That's because they have bodies of water in the state. The best title is what? Where is Storm Lake? Water words and place names? How communities are named? What do you think? <clears throat> I chose how communities are named. One reason is because of the body of water. Cause, mess, accident, spill, greasy, drip, guess. What foods cause the most problems in a car? Chocolate is one. It gets all over things. When drivers try to clean up the mess, they often have accidents. Hot drinks such as coffee are also dangerous. Why? They spill. Greasy foods cause trouble when they drip. Jelly donuts cause problems too. Can you guess why? What's the main idea? Foods that are good for car rides? The problems caused by chocolate and only chocolate. And by the way, it doesn't even talk about cars. Or C, foods that cause problems in cars. This one couldn't be easier. Look at the title sentence or topic sentence. What foods cause the most problems in a car? The answer is C. What detail do you find? Greasy foods that drip cause problems? Drivers should pay attention to the road. Cell phones are dangerous in cars. Are we talking about phones, driver safety, or food in cars? The answer is A. And the best title? Chocolate causes accidents. Please eat neatly messy foods in cars. It's C, as I'm sure you guessed. 11. Nickname, sometimes be known as several, initial, while. Many U.S. presidents have had nicknames. James Madison was sometimes called Jemmy. Honest Abe was a popular name for Abraham Lincoln. Dwight Eisenhower was known as Ike, and Theodore Roosevelt was Teddy. Several presidents have been called by their initials. John F. Kennedy was JFK, while Lyndon B. Johnson was LBJ. There is an exercise that you can try matching the presidents with their nicknames. Use the presidents in the column on the left with their nicknames in the column on the right. And the answers are upside down at the bottom. Back to our paragraph. What is the main idea? The nickname of President Eisenhower? Nicknames for some US presidents? Or how US presidents got their nicknames? Look at the title sentence or topic sentence and decide. Not all US presidents have nicknames 
And this article is how nicknames for some of the US presidents exist and are known by many people. What detail do you find in the story? Not all US presidents have had nicknames. Some nicknames have come from a president's initials or only popular presidents have had nicknames. It doesn't say C. A is implied, but it's not a detail of the paragraph. The answer is B. And what do you think is the best title for this paragraph? Nicknames for presidents. Lincoln was Honest Abe. Who was Jimmy? <laughs> A is definitely our best bet. 12. Chinook, Perga, Mistral, Kamsin, Blow, Stir Up. Do you know what a Chinook is? It's a warm winter wind in the western United States. Another wind is a perga. This very cold wind brings snow to Russia. In France, there was a dry wind called a mistral. Egypt has a kamzin. This wind blows across the desert, stirring up sand. Around the world, different winds come and go with the seasons. Okay, now it's time for you to tell me the answers. What is the main idea? winds of the western United States, how winds bring snow to Russia, different winds around the world. C, different winds around the world. And a detail that talks about the main idea, what a perga is and does, where does the word mistral come from, how people dress during a kamsin. what a perga is and does, A. And finally, your opinion for the best title. Cold winter winds, what's the weather? Winds of the world. That's the one, C, winds of the world. That concludes today's lesson on main ideas and key details and topic and title sentences. Thank you very much. I'm teacher Stefan. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.